Nairobi, a city of rhythm, roads and revelations. Let's shift gears and navigate its winding wonders. Welcome to another episode on Shifting News. Hey good people, thanks for joining us again. To all our returning subscribers, you are the engine behind our journey. If you are new, consider joining our journey and hit that subscribe button and get ready for a thrilling ride across different roads in Nairobi. Starting off at Mutindua, we slide along Outer Ring Road, an amazing road winding through Nairobi's heart. Each turn, a new tale. Every stretch, a story. We divert to the slip road, taking us to Donholm from where we will join Jogoro. And as we will be cruising down Jogoro, we will meet Hamza, where Jam Rescue Hotel's legacy stands. Donholm whispers of transitions as the old kisses the new. Let us dive deep into the history of one of Nairobi's iconic estates, Donholm. From its colonial roots to the thriving community it is today, let's explore its captivating journey. Back in the day, this estate was known as Donholm Farm, named after a similar estate in Glasgow. The name Donholm traces back to James Kerry Watson, a colonial landowner who had his dairy farm in this region. Situated in Eastlands, it's rich in Kenyan history and stands as one of the oldest estates in the area. Watson wasn't just a regular farmer, he was an innovator. When his livestock fell victim to East Coast fever, a tick disease he initiated the first ever cattle dip in Kenya. He also introduced Asher cows, a tribute to his Scottish roots. This farm wasn't just about cattle. Watson, being a European architect, designed iconic structures like the Kenya National Archives and planted numerous palm trees around Nairobi. However, the 1940s weren't kind to Donholm Farm. A devastating drought, mounting deaths, and a tick infestation became a heavy burden. By the 1950s, Nairobi's expansion and the government's land acquisition for Mbakasi Airport made it even more challenging for the farm to sustain. Eventually, most of the farm was sold off or acquired by the government. Today's Donholm is far from its agricultural past. Packed with apartment blocks, churches, shops and restaurants, it's a bustling hub known lovingly as Doni. Although Watson's legacy might not be evident in the names, the estate spirit continues to thrive. After independence, the name Donholm was adopted for the new constituency, and the late Mwai Kibaki represented the area in parliament. It was later changed to Bahati, and later Makadara, while Donholm Road was renamed to Jogo Road. From a dairy farm to one of Nairobi's iconic neighborhoods, Donholm showcases the ever-evolving nature of cities and communities. Interestingly, Watson's name has not had any luck, but Donholm Estate lives on, not as a livestock farm, but inhabited by people who Watson had perhaps fenced out. Shifting news. Explore. Feel. Shift. For our viewers familiar with Donholm, 
What memories of facts can you share about this estate? Drop them in the comments below. And for those new to the area, maybe it's time to plan a visit. We traverse through the Mogas area, Botella, a hum of history, and join Makadara, where we have a mix of modernity and memory. Many Nairobi residents prefer dwelling in Makadara due to its proximity to the Nairobi CBD, and the fare is considerably affordable. What about rent rates? Kindly share in the comment section if you have information on the ranges of this estate. We then cross the Likoni Road roundabout and Chachami stands solemnly, a testament to faith. Rikana welcomes us to the views of many businesses around before we pass through Maziwa State. Hey, some names though, we need to research on their historical origin. And here stands the iconic city stadium. We shift lanes and join Lusaka Road. This road connects you from Jogoro at the city stadium area all the way to Mombasa Road or Langata Road at the Nyayo Stadium roundabout.
also cross Enterprise Road that connects you to the busy industrial area and joins you back to Mombasa Road at the General Motors area. Take a turn to Ndunga Road. From Ndunga's asphalt stretches to Bunyala's sweeping views, it's a visual treat. Bunyala Road takes us into the business terrains of Upper Hill. Nairobi's crown, adorned with jewels like old mutual tower. History and modernity dance on Lower Hill Road, guiding us to Hell Selassie Avenue.
history whispers among the shelves. As we ride past the Kenya National Library service, each book has a tale, much like each road we are on. We then join Gong Road and we'll cross such places and roads like Kenyatta Hospital, Raila Odinga Way, which was formerly known as Mbagadi Way, Coptic Hospital, China Center Mall, and several others. Our journey takes a scenic shift through Ring Road Kilimani. And as we traverse the Kibra Slam using the Langata Ngong Road Link Road, it's a reminder of Nairobi's resilient spirit.
And here we are, wrapping up today's ride at NHC Langata. From the bars of Motindua to the heart of Langata, it has been an exhilarating ride with stories whispered and roared on every corner. We shift lens, we share tales, we are shifting news. Thanks for riding along on this shifting news adventure. New visitors, feel the thrill. Consider subscribing. To our loyal gear shifters, your support fuels our journey. Remember, every road has a story. Until next time, keep shifting and exploring. Shifting News. Explore. Feel. Shift.